Hey guys, Steve here from the Phonograph Stop with uh, with an Edison Diamond Disc Reproducer. Which, this one uh, came off my uh, Edison C150 and it's been uh, completely rebuilt uh, with a new um, Bruce Diamond and True Tone diaphragm installed. But, um, well the reason for, uh, the reason for making this video is uh, just, to, just to show you how to check your uh, your reproducer, uh, tighten it up and uh, and clean it up to see if you can make it sound uh, just a bit better without doing a complete rebuild. So I'm not going to take this apart. I'm just going to basically point this out and show you, uh, you know, the steps on uh, on doing this. So you're going to uh, remove these two screws for the spring. This basically these two screws come off. This cap comes off, which will enable you to lift this weight off and you'll be able to see be able to take the uh, the pivot bar out of the limiter and you'll be able to see most of your diaphragm which is back here and you can inspect your diaphragm for any damage and then what you do is there is a notch right here on this retaining spring. Now underneath the spring you'll have a gasket on the top of the diaphragm and on the rear. We're not going to worry about the gaskets. What you want to do is you want to put your screwdriver here and turn it to the right to tighten it. If this is loose you'll get um, you'll get some vibration, some uh, distortion sound. But you want to make sure this uh, ring, this diaphragm ring is tight pushed all the way to the right. And once that's done, you can you can put it back together. And then the next thing I'll do is get some Q-tips and metal polish. You're gonna dip your Q-tip in, and there's your diamond disc, your diamond styly bar, needle bar. You're gonna polish that needle bar. Now you can use this way, you can use a Q-tip with this and um, use the metal polish on there. I usually put the metal polish on, I'll leave it on there for a couple minutes, and then I'll get the clean, dry Q-tip and scrub it off. And then finish it off with a lint-free cloth, and that'll shine that stylus bar up, and it'll improve the volume and the sound traveling from the, the diamond through the bar through the diaphragm, through the phonograph, out the horn. <laughs> so, okay. So, once that's done, you can take a drop of sewing machine oil and inside of these little pivots right here, you could put a drop here and then a drop on the other side of the pivot. And then just move it around a little bit just to get the oil in there. That does it. That'll do it. Then you can test it out and see how it sounds. So, uh, just a fair warning. When you're placing your reproducer down, always make sure it's on its side. Don't ever face it down here. You can damage this needle, the diamond needle, very easily. Uh, I actually dropped it one time, which is why I had to fully restore this one here. So... All right, well, I hope the information uh, helps you guys out. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And as always, we will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.